Welcome to John's Jeep Garage again. We're going to change the oil today on a 1998 Jeep Wrangler TJ. It's a 4 liter. We need about 6 quarts of oil. So I've bought the uh, Valvoline full synthetic 10W30. Uh, with that, I like to use the Fram. It is called the Ultra Synthetic Filter XG16. Okay, so we're working on our 4 liter today. We're going to need a few supplies. Make sure you got gloves and safety glasses. You're going to need some type of oil filter wrench, a large mouth funnel, and for the oil plug you need a 5 8 You may want a drain pan, there's many varieties out there, but you don't want to spill anything. Please write your mileage down, this is important. You want to run the engine for about 5 minutes so the oil is a little bit more viscous and easier to flow. Remove the oil cap and place it somewhere where it doesn't get dirty. We want to wipe away from the oil mouth, the oil cap area, so that nothing falls in. Place your oil pan underneath the plug area where it's projected to spill out. Remember, it's going to go further than you think. Use your wrench to slowly loosen it and then use your hand to remove it all the way. Make sure you adjust your oil pan if you're not directly underneath it. You want to make sure you're catching this. It's also going to be warm, so be careful. That's why you're wearing the gloves as well. Put your plug somewhere safe. Your oil filter is located on the passenger side. You can access it from the top, from the side, or underneath. When you use your filter wrench, I'm going to get it from the underside for this video just to show you so I can kind of get a more detailed picture. I prefer to access it from the side. Uh, I'm using my hand. I'm making sure it's not too warm right now because it is going to spill down on me. If you access it from the top, normally you have to have your hood all the way back and the side is also uh, a good way to access it. Put your drain plug back in, hand tighten it, and then when you use your wrench, just make sure it's a snug fit. You don't want to over tighten, you just want to make sure that it's sealed. Now you want to clean up where any spills occurred and then that's where the, uh, as you can see in the picture, where the filter uh, goes. Um, before you do that, you want to take some oil and put it on the rubber gasket around the filter and a little oil inside. Uh, when you screw it on, right when it touches the base, you then want to hand tighten it one full turn. Again, on this, you don't want to over tighten it. You just want to make sure you do it one full turn by the hand. Sometimes it's a little less. You have to feel this one. Now you're ready to put your oil in and uh, make sure you use your large mouth funnel. Do not spill it. This is where you access the engine oil dipstick. It will say either add or it is safe. At that level, do not overfill it. It is still below the add line, so we got to add another quart of oil. This one takes six. You want to run the engine before checking it again to make sure it fills into the uh, filter. And if you look, it's hard to see on this, but uh, we're in the safe zone, so uh, we're good to go. Let's wipe all the spills up. Make sure that uh, you clean up your shop area. And then this one is off the list. So we'll start the car. We'll let it run for a few minutes, we'll check for any leaks, and that is John's Jeep Garage. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe.